if you will not learn completely about line command then unsubscribe the channel hello everyone this is abdul wali today in this video tutorial i am going to teach you line command in autocad line command is very useful and it is very important in autocad 2d drawing and as well 3d drawing so let's start line command is used to create a line between two points before to draw a line you would like to select your unit for that simply type uni you can see uni and click on this units simply click on it and now here different options are available length type you can see this length type decimal if you want to use meter centimeter kilometer then select this decimal if you want to use feet inch so you would like to select this architecture so now i am going to use uh, feet and inch so i would like to select here architecture and here inch and then press simply ok and after that select your line command to select the line command for that I simply come to this ribbon panel and click on line you can see this line or simply type l and press enter you will select this command so now simply click on it after selecting line command now specify your first point it means that to specify your start point from where you want to start your line simply click here let's start my line from this point you can see and now specify your second point up line or specify the end of this line so now i would like to draw it by default so let's click at this point you can see click simply here now you can see line is finished here if you want to draw another line you can draw simply click here and if you want to finish the line for that simply press the space button simply press it line, com command will finish now you can see command is finished and this is a drawn line if you want to draw complete horizontal or vertical line for that uh, you would like to own this artho you can see this artho so it would be on simply click on it it will show in blue color so it is on now and after that select your line command here from ribbon bar click on it and now specify your start point and now you can see your line is horizontal straight horizontal and if you want to draw vertical come to down yeah, now you can see it is completely vertical so simply specify your second point let this is my second point and now you can see this is our horizontal line and to draw vertical line come down and simply click here now you can see it is completely vertical line so then specify your second point let's click here now you cannot draw slope line if you want to draw slope line to connect here so for that you would like to off the r2 and click on r2 to up you can see here simply click on it and now simply come here and click here and then press the space to finish the command now you can see this is your round shape and after that uh, now i would like to draw uh, 100 feet line so for that uh, again select line command and let's specify this is my first start point this corner simply click here and now go to this side and type 100 feet now type 100 type 100 and symbol of feet and then press enter and press the uh, space to finish command now you can see this line this line having 100 feet length so let's zoom it and now draw one another line with 50 feet so let's click here and specify this is your start point this corner and come down on the r2 to be vertical and now type 50 feet 50 and symbol of feet and press enter and then again press space or enter to finish the command now we can see this line having 50 feet length and this line having 100 feet length so let's check click on this dimension command and select this line now you can see it is 100 feet and then select this line check it now this is 50 feet after that if you want to draw two lines with specific angle for that first of all you would like to make sure about your angle that is it clockwise or counterclockwise to check it for that simply type unit uni unit and then click on units 
and now here you can say it is counterclockwise they will consider our angle counterclockwise if i click here and on this option they will consider our angle clockwise but now our angle will be unclockwise or counterclockwise so after that I click on line command and start let's start from this point and come to this side on the r2 to be horizontal line and then type 20 feet 20 feet and press enter and after that up the r2 you can see this r2 and now first of all you would like to specify the length of this line so let's type 10 feet it is 10 feet and after that press shift comma now type your angle which angle you want so let's type 30 simply type 30 they will consider it degree so type 30 and press enter and then again enter to finish the command now we can see these two lines this having 20 bit length and this having 10 bit length so let's uh, check for that click on dimension and check this line now you can see it is 20 bit and then check this line it is 10 bit and then check the angle between these two lines for that click here check these two lines now you can see angle between them is 30 degree and one another thing uh, your dimension may does not show like this for the first time if you click on this dimension it requires uh, some settings so to do the these settings i have given this video link in the description and go there and watch it and thank you for watching and please subscribe the channel